So it is really important. So firstly, we're going to go over to Robert. Uh, Robert, you're from Sydney in Australia, and I know you would love to share with us today a little about your journey. So if you could take three to five minutes to share with us today. Uh, thanks, Narelle, and thanks for everyone being here today. Um, my story is not really unusual, but um, I guess in a way that uh, being marketing online, uh, I got caught up just like the story Marty keeps on telling everyone, uh, you know, in, a, in and out of one company doing this, trying to do that, losing money here, losing money there. I got to the point where I gave up on ML, or multi-level marketing altogether and uh, I was introduced to a passive business, which I'm still involved with now. Um, but uh, no, I just thought, I'm not going to do anything more. I'm never going to join another company again. I'm going to stick with it. And so about three and a half years into that business, I get that email from Terry Burns, who's my sponsor. And something caught me eye about the email, and I just read it, and I thought, that's okay. So I listened to the famous two recordings, uh, for those who are listening here that aren't uh, founders, that those two recordings, there was no company name then. It was not called on passive. It was just a, uh, an opportunity. And I listened to it and I signed up and became a founder, even though I wasn't going to do anything again. I had put a lot of time in this other business and I thought, no. Nah. But no, I did it. I thought, well, look, for $97, it's doing everything that I want to do. This, you, you cannot believe this. It's, it's going to do what I couldn't do personally myself. So to me, that's the biggest thing. I don't, if, if I die tomorrow and this thing goes off and it does all the marketing for me, I'll be happy. So I carried on with that and I really forgot about it. I didn't do anything about it. There was no website. There was nothing. Up until uh, two, I got into 2018, by the way, and 2000 and December 2018, uh, GoFounders website came into play, and then from then on, we started to expand a bit. The funny thing about it, I never told anybody about it. As a matter of fact, my brother lives with me. I never even told him. So funny enough, I came back from Indonesia because I was doing business in Indonesia, and I thought to myself, well, my brother said to me. What else is going on, Rob? I said, well, look, there's a company here called On Passive. Uh, uh, matter of fact, the website's there now. You can have a look if you want to join. He said, well, have I got to sponsor anyone? I said, well, not really. Apparently, they can do all the work for you. So, well, okay. You know what Aussies are like. We like to sit back a bit and take things a bit easy. But anyway, so funny enough, he signed up. It was my first one. And uh, funny again, he started signing people up. And then I started signing to people up and we've just got a nice little team. And the thing I like about what we've done, the majority of our, our people in our, our team are all Aussies. Uh, we've got two in Indonesia and one out in the Caribbean. I think that's about it. So we're all Aussie Italians or whatever we are. Um, and that's been the, the fundamental part. Even the, the last few I've signed up in the last week are all Aussies that I've met here. So I think that, for any Australians here now, Aussies that are listening, uh, they're wanting this business. And it, sometimes you just got to uh, nurture them a bit and make sure you're a bit of a leader and not just, you know, you've, you've got to show people what's going on. But uh, that's been basically my journey. I've gone all the way through. I've gone through the times of Sydney Hopkins and uh, Scott Nielsen. I went through all these different various leaders coming through. Sadly, Scott, not, not with us these days, but... Um, uh, he was good. And then, of course, Marty and, and Mike Ellison, they, they came in and started duplicating what was going on, and the rest is really history. I think from the time when Marty then came in, that's when it started to, things started to really change. Um, so I've seen a, a fair bit, um, but just so I won't waffle on too much, I've got an email coming through my sponsor today, and uh, I'd like you to hear what he had to say. There's nothing on there that's going to offend anyone or proprietary. The email that came in, and this is from Terry Burns, he's a founder. On passive reaches 1.2 million founder accounts. I thought, oh, fair enough. 
And he says, greeting on passive founders. And we can say guest today too. On passive, in just 3.73 years, seven months, has reached 1.2 million and has not yet sold one product. There's been nothing sold yet. And he asks, he says, it may, so it makes one question, ask one question, why? I, be, I believe it to be because of the following. Now, there's five bullet points in here I thought were quite interesting. And a lot of us who've been in on passive will really know this anyway. The first one is vision. One family saw an opportunity at the right time to explore the reality of making the vision come true. And that's Ash McLeod and his family. The next bullet point is a moral compass. Now, I don't hear that often, but I do hear in other webinars of different lifestyles. The moral compass says, like-minded people with the moral compass, the ability to judge what is right and wrong and act accordingly, act upon the vision with the hopes to help themselves and more importantly, those they care about. The next bullet point is perseverance, number three. A CEO owned a company staff and founding member who were determined to stay the course regardless of the naysayers and minor setbacks along the way. Now, I guess we know a little setbacks along the way in that. And Ash has currently been talking about a few things that we know about as founders. Now, the next bullet point is over-delivery. And it turns around and says a company and a CEO that has over-delivered time and time again and new ideas evolved. Production of superior quality and state-of-art technology, and they do it until done mindset. And the final one is factual. Now, this is very, very important for those who are not founders who are actually listening to this. A company that has been built on facts that spoke for itself because of the results, it has produced not unnecessary hype, to make it something that it's not. And he finished off by saying, blessed are you on part of this journey. So I just thought it was interesting. I thought it was timely and I really appreciate it. I thought, hope you'd like me sharing that to you. And uh, I'm always grateful to my sponsor. So I get support and that's the main thing. So that's for me, Narelle. I think that um, to sum it all up, uh, if, if you're an Aussie here, come on board. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Oh my gosh, amazing. What beautiful points. You know, I think we as founders or anyone as guests um, can understand how amazing on passive truly is and the changes that it's going to make to so many lives. Today we said about, you know, um, I spoke in the um, uh, live with Yvonne and I also put it in the description today about we're looking for visionaries. You know, do you feel, uh, Robert, I'm just going to come back to you a minute there. Um, do you feel, how do you feel about being a visionary within on passive? You know, just share a little with us now. Thanks. Yeah, well, I, well, well I'm, I'm sharing and, and it's fitting into exactly where I'm coming from because basically the other company that I keep on talking about is all about charitable and uh, good causes okay all the money is going to go to charities and we get something for doing it step over here with on passive it was just a marketing company but if you've been here for long enough the vision and is that vast now every time ash Bafara comes on there's something else happening there's something else happening and so it gets gets better and better but you can help people i get people to come on because i want to help them um I know you expressed about Obless, and that's just going to be a, a fantastic tool. I know a lot of the, the founders here, I know you, Chris, have done a lot of work. Uh, I'm a little bit like wanting to help people too. Uh, and sometimes we just haven't got the tools, we haven't got the business to do that. We do a lot of talking. Oh, if I could do this, I wish I could do that. Well, here's your opportunity. And that's the ont entrepreneurial spirit we need in this type of company and the vision that get, moves ahead. Uh, look, it's not easy uh, helping one person, but if you want to help multiple people, you're going to need an organisation that's been built this way. Because I personally, personally believe that people say, oh, Ash has got a big heart. 
I say, yeah, he has, but I come from a different belief background that he's almost contracted to do this. It's almost like they set him down here under contract that he's not going to fail. It doesn't matter what happens. And we as founders are contracted also to come and help him. So I look at it more like this is just not a, a joke. This is not just a, uh, how can I put it? Uh, it's going to happen because, oh, well, they're lucky. No, this is purely being built. And uh, I, I see the whole thing here with Ashford Farah uh, amazing. I mean, I, I just, uh, I'm never really like that about like a lot of people, but I've, I've seen it happen time and time again. Hope that answers your question. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's cool, Robert. That's, hey, that's, Narelle, um, Narelle, can I say something really quick? You certainly can, Marty. Robert, if everybody bottled what Robert just said in the last 10 minutes, you'll have thousands of people on your team. That's all, <laughs> that's all I got. No joke. Most powerful yeah. statement I've heard in months. Yeah. yeah all thank right, you. Robert. I'm telling you, don't ignore everything else. Grab that statement and build an empire. No kidding. No yeah. kidding. Very, that's, very that's, good. Thank you very much. And I really felt that way. I was actually uh, wasn't going to be game. I wasn't game to really say it like that. But I, I really feel that uh, there's nobody here a, a, a mistake. We are really here because we've been meant to come here. We yeah. cannot fix the problems. One man, and he's, we've seen what one man has done with the money. They've misused the money. Here's one man is going to give us money and say, okay, let's all do it together. And that's what I like about it. A rational mind, a rational mind knows this wasn't an accident. Exactly right. A I agree with you. A rational mind can't know that. And if they do, get that shovel I talked about because you're dead. <laughs> yeah. It's so Thank true. You.